Hi everyone, it's Riley with the Invading Species Awareness Program and today I was on a cycling trail and I just came across some wild parsnip that is here and back here. So wild parsnip was introduced to North America likely for its edible roots and then has since escaped cultivation. So although the roots are edible, the sap of the plant is actually quite noxious and can cause severe burns. So if you're looking to remove or manage the plant, we would recommend against that. But if you're looking to remove from your property, for example, the Ontario Invasive Plant Council has best management practice guides where you can find more management strategies there. And those can be found on our website or theirs. Um, so other than the wild parsnip being a noxious plant and uh, a harmful to humans, it also has negative impacts on the environment. For example, it can grow quite tall and it can outcompete native species, reducing biodiversity. And it can actually reduce the quality of crop species such as hay and alfalfa. Um, so if you come take a closer look, wild parsnip has a single green stalk with compound leaves arranged in pairs down here. And then at the top, it has these yellowish green flowers in an umbrella shaped cluster. So they're quite distinct and they're pretty much in full bloom this time of year. So you're likely seeing it along roadsides or along farm fields. And wild parsnip can actually be found across all of Canada's provinces and territories except for none of it. So it's very widespread and it can be dangerous. So what you can do to help prevent the spread of invading species is number one, like I always say, is know what to look for. So for example, the things we just chatted about with how it looks, the yellowish green flowers and the single green stalk. Knowing what to look for will help you stop and prevent the spread. Making sure that you're using safe and effective trail use. So you're not going off the trail and you're making sure to check your equipment. So for example, I'm going to check my bicycle at the end of today to make sure that I don't have any mud or seed stuck on it. And I'll check my shoes and make sure those are clean and inspected of invading species so I'm not a vector of spread. And now if you see wild parsnip on your property or within your community, you can always call the invading species hotline, which is 1-800-563-7711. You can also report via EDMAPS, which is the Early Detection and Distribution Mapping System. And all that information can be found on our website, which is www.invadingspecies.com. All right, guys, I'll see you again soon with some more terrestrial invading species. Bye.